Hey, what's up, you guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to zoom in Camp Studio. As you may know, Camp Studio doesn't have a zoom in feature, but what you can do is download this program called Magnifying Glass. And let's open it up right now. This program is an open source program, and I will provide the download link in the description box. But, anyways, moving on. As you can see, you have five tabs general, basic options, advanced option, pro version, and about. So, I'm not going to show you the installation progress but because it's pretty straightforward. All you do is just run a .ex field and that's about it. And the way to set it up is, let's go to general first. You could have it run while your window starts up, but I prefer not to because it slows down the system, but it's up to you. Show glass after application starts. You could have it show the zoom in feature right after you start the program. Of course, you can have it to English or set to Russian. I guess they don't offer any other language. Now the hotkey is you put whatever key you want it you want to use. That's if you uncheck this option. You can have it open up as a hotkey, like have it to control Alt Z. So if I press that right now. Oh let me close this option box first. There you go. As you can see it's zoomed in right now. Which is nice. And let's close it by pressing hotkey again. Go back to the option. I'll wait for my steam thing. <laughs> Come on, there you go. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so that's basically it. You can set it to whatever you want. You know, Control Alt Z, Control Alt J, whatever. Five, six, seven, whatever. Fits your satisfaction. Go to basic options. Now you can have it totally invisible or fully visible. I personally use fully visible. The pixel size is basically what or how big the window is going to be. So, you want the window to be really big, you just up the number. Zoom factor 1 is pretty much good enough. Unless you have a really big monitor, you might want to zoom about 2 or so. You can enter as many as you want. And image update, I have no idea what it is, but I keep it at 0.01 and it seems to be fine. For advanced options, I leave contrast mode to none. Now, glass position, there are many options from under cursor which basically means anywhere that you move your cursor it's already zoomed so basically your mouse or cursor is the magnifying glass itself corner tracker is what I have at the moment basically it zooms and follows the cursor in the corner which I personally like fix elusive and fix they're basically the same thing it's basically a window that's stuck to the corner so whatever your mouse is moving it shows the bigger image or the magnified image on the corner and you can set the glass corner to wherever you want it to be and you can preview it like you see in the left hand but I'll go back to corner tracker which I personally use as you can see right here and pro version if you want to buy the pro version then simply take it it tells you the features that you get with the pro version but the open source program itself is pretty well done and I think that should be enough and workers collection the about tab and yeah, you want to see the feature as you can see here. If I want to close it, just use the hotkey, whatever you put it as, and it's gone. So that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.